What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. With that out of the way, let's jump into our review. Today we're looking at the Aaron Sherry cask. Stick around. All right, so we seem to have a trend here at G Whiskey where I'm looking at whiskeys that I have previously reviewed recently. Um, last week I looked at the Ben Riek Smoky 12. This week I'm going back to the Aaron Sherry cask. Now this is a whiskey that I looked at like way back, almost two years ago. And at the time I wasn't very impressed. I liked it, but didn't love it. I remember thinking it was kind of young and I just didn't really connect with it. And the youth aside, I've just always preferred Aaron as a brighter, fresher style of whiskey. Some of their cast forward expressions are excellent, but I just miss the days when we had that really bright, fresh stuff like the 14. Even the 10 seems to be getting more and more sherry these days. Stuff like the quarter cask has a much stronger cask influence than back when it used to look like this. Uh, it just seems like Aaron is leaning more and more on casks these days and it's unnecessary because again They have such a vibrant distillate. It's not needed. Obviously, that's all personal opinion and it's also a tangent So whatever never mind all that. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were surprised when I didn't love this uh, Especially back in the earlier days of the channel back when I was really into the heavily sherried stuff uh, I scored this one in 84 now 84 is not a bad score. It's a good score, but it's not a great score but a couple of years have passed since then, and Aaron is a new-ish distillery. It opened in the 90s, so we can expect a little bit of flavor drift from them just because as time passes, they have access to older and older stock, so maybe things have changed. And I do want to give them the benefit of the doubt because I do love Aaron. I think it's a great brand, so I'm not going to just dismiss a bottle forever, especially since a lot of people have encouraged me to come back to this stuff. They said it was too harsh the first time around, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Anyway, this is a no age stated whiskey, but it is known to be about seven years old. It's matured exclusively in sherried hogsheads from Jerez in Spain. Jerez? Anyway, it has been a good chunk of time, and I am kind of excited to come back to this one. I do love Aaron, I do love a good sherry bomb, and my tastes have changed, the whiskey itself might have changed, so let's find out. Let's jump into our review. In the meantime, if you'll kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. As expected, we do have some pretty good specs here. This one comes in at 55.8% ABV. It's Aaron, so of course it's going to be naturally presented. So we have no chill filtration, we have no color, and that makes me want to smile in a way that's not creepy at all. I'm sure at this point a lot of you already know that I absolutely love Aaron bottles. Uh, I think they're unique, they're craft looking, they look fantastic on the shelf. Uh, I always give them five out of five. But today, I'm gonna give this one four and a half out of five. I'm downgrading it for no reason I can think of. Aaron are of course known for their transparency, so it would be nice to have that seven year age statement on the label, but maybe I'm asking for too much. Uh, we do have pretty much everything we need. It says non-chill filtered, it says natural color, and the bottle looks great, so can't really complain. On the nose, we have red fruit, cinnamon, dark berries, sweet plums, sweet cherries, sweet ginger, tobacco. There's white pepper in here. Someone on Whiskey Base mentioned that this is more reminiscent of a port whiskey than it is a sherry whiskey, at least on the nose. Kind of, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of berries here. Our palette and finish do away with the port suggestion. This is big, heavy sherry with some peppery spice up front. We get some plummy notes in here, but not like dark plums, more like sweet plums. We have cinnamon, we have nutmeg, we have roasted nuts. We have jujubes in here, which are kind of like these Chinese red dates. You'll find them in a lot of Chinese medicine. They look like this. Uh, they kind of taste like dark apples with brown sugar. Probably could have just said that. Uh, we also have some faint herbal notes in here. We have some bright, sweet red fruits. Our finish is long. Okay, so this is pretty different from the whiskey that I reviewed two years ago. Now, two years ago was around the time that Aaron had just released their new lineup with the new bottles, and it's different now. This is a different whiskey. It's not just me. What struck me with the last bottle is that it did taste kind of young. This one doesn't. Of course, it's not an old whiskey. It doesn't taste like an old whiskey, but it is a little bit more rounded and a little bit better constructed than the last bottle I had. 
Um, we do have some sharpness and some bite in here, but that's just from the higher ABV. We don't get that papery youthfulness. And yes, the old bottle I had probably was also around seven years old, but I suspect there's more older stock in this one, and that's why it's more rounded. Not just more rounded, it's more cohesive. Like we have richer flavors that seem to work better together. Uh, so cohesion, balance, whatever you want to call it, it's better here. I do like this better than the last bottle I had by a good measure. Another thing I like here is that this is a sherry bomb, but not a total sherry bomb. Like if you're to compare this to something like Glenelg 10 cast strength, this one doesn't have the loudness from the casks. It's not like it's just a bunch of very active sherry casks screaming in your face. And that can be a good style. It's not like I hate that style, but eh. At least with this one, we do get the Aaron-ness of the distillate underneath. Of course, it is second fiddle, but it is present and accounted for. The sherry casks are very forward, but they're not this dark, heavy, brooding sherry that you might get in something like an Edredauer or a Cavalan. The sherry is a little bit sweeter, it's a little bit cleaner, so there's a brightness to the cask influence that I feel matches the brightness of the distillate underneath. I don't know if that's making sense at all. Anyway, I also think our casks were pretty good quality here, and there's absolutely no way that I'm wrong about that because the brand says so themselves on the website. They say they use the finest quality oak casks. And granted, every other brand in the world says that too, but so does Aaron. Now this is not the most complex or the heaviest or the biggest sherry bomb out there, but it is a good one. It's a fun one. It tastes great, and I like drinking it. So that's good enough for me. The score is 87. If you're a fan of Big Sherry, this one does have all the balls and all the intensity that you would want from a higher ABV whiskey. It has some brighter, cleaner elements despite being very cask driven. And it's a Moorish whiskey. It's got good reachability. I'm always happy to come back to this one. Now let's talk about value. So value is a tricky one because this one shot up a lot in price since my last bottle. Is it still worth it? Yes, uh, it wouldn't be the first thing I'd buy with that amount of money, but it is a nice one to have in the lineup. The fact that it's cast strength, the fact that it's a little bit different, and the fact that it tastes good, yeah, it's worth picking up. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, I do have the Patreon. Otherwise, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Always appreciate it. Of course, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried our Aaron Sherry cask? What were your thoughts? Finally, down below in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.